Hello friends, we have completed the chapter number 2, Applications of the Derivative. Now we will start the miscellaneous exercise 2. Choose the correct option from the given alternatives. If the function f of x is equal to ax cube plus bx square plus 11x minus 6 satisfies the conditions of Rolle's theorem in closed interval 1 to 3. Find and f dash of 2 plus 1 upon root 3 is equal to 0. Then the values of a and b respectively are 1 minus 6 minus 2 1 minus 1 minus 6 and d minus 1 6. Now the given function f of x is a polynomial function and hence it is a continuous on closed interval 1 to 3 and differentiable on open interval 1 to 3. f of x is equal to ax cube plus bx square plus 11x minus 6 and it satisfies the conditions of the Rolle's theorem. That is f of b is equal to f of a. Therefore, we will find out the first value of f of 1. Here, replace the x by 1, then you will get a plus b plus 11 minus 6. And that's why you will get a plus b plus 5. What about the f of 3? f of 3 is equal to a 3 raised to 3 plus b 3 raised to 2 plus 11 into 3 minus 6. And that's why you will get 27a plus 9b plus 33 minus 6. And therefore 27a plus 9b plus 27. By the conditions of the Rolle's theorem, that is a given function is a is a polynomial and hence it is a continuous and differentiable. And f of b is equals to f of a. By using that condition, we will write here that is f of a is equals to f of b a plus b plus 5 is equals to 27a plus 9b plus 27. And that's why you will get 26a plus 8b plus 22 is equals to 0. If you simplify this, then that is. 13a plus 4b plus 11 is equal to 0. And by considering the options that we have given, which options will satisfy this condition, that is the first is will satisfy and hence the answer is 1 minus 6. Again we will see here. Miscellaneous exercise. So, the first is that is the first question. Choose the correct correct option from the given alternatives. First, if the function f of x is equal to ax cube plus bx square plus 11x minus 6 satisfies the conditions of Rolle's theorem. In closed interval 1 to 3 and f dash of 2 plus 1 upon root 3 is equals to 0. Then the values of a and 
B respectively that is 1 minus 6 B minus 2 1 C minus 1 minus 6 and D minus 1 6 The given function f of x is a polynomial function. Hence, it is a continuous on closed interval 1, 2, 3 and differentiable on open interval 1 2 3 1 and 3 f of x is equals to ax cube plus bx square plus 11x minus 6 the value of f of 1 That is a plus b is equals to 5. f of 3 is equals to ax cube plus b. That is a 3 cube plus b 3 square plus 11 into 3 minus 6. And after simplification, you will get 27a plus 9b plus 27. And by condition, that is f of b is equals to f of a. And we will simplify here. That is 26 a plus 8 b plus 22 is equals to 0. That is 13 a plus 4 b plus 11 is equals to 0. By considering the option, whatever that we have given. The first option 1 and minus 6 is the correct one. Which satisfies the condition 13a plus 4b plus 11 is equals to 0. Now then, now the second is f of x is equals to x square minus 1 upon x square plus 1 for every real value of x. Then the minimum value of f is, now here we have the function f of x is equals to x square minus 1 upon x square plus 1. Then f dash of x by using the quotient tool we will have that is a x square plus 1 that is a v into derivative of u that is a ddx of x square minus 1 minus in bracket x square minus 1 into ddx of x square plus 1 upon x square plus 1 bracket square and if you simplify it derivative of x square minus 1 is a 2x minus x square minus 1 and derivative of x square plus 1 is a 2x and again take the 2x as a common then in bracket you will get x square plus 1 minus in bracket x square minus 1 upon x square plus 1 bracket square and if you simplify it then you will get 4x upon x square plus 1 bracket square. Now f dash of x is equals to 0 that's we have given that uh, for every the then the minimum value of that f of x is. For that we will equate the first error equals to 0 and if you simplify it then you will get the value of x is equals to 0. If we go, that is a find out the second derivative, then again the derivative of 4x upon x square plus 1 bracket square, that is x square plus 1 
bracket square into radix of 4x minus 4x into radix of x square plus 1 bracket square upon x square plus 1 bracket raised to 4 and derivative of 4x is 4 4x x square plus 1 bracket square that is a 2 times x square plus 1 into derivative of x square plus 1 which is the 2x upon x square plus 1 bracket raised to 4 and if you simplify this then you will get that is a 4 in bracket x square plus 1 into x square plus 1 minus 4x square upon x square plus 1 bracket raised to 4. Again 4 in bracket x square plus 1 in bracket 1 minus 3x square upon x square plus 1 bracket raised to 4. Therefore f dash of x, this is f dash of x. If we substitute here, that is a 0. If we substitute here 0 and here will be the 0. That is which is a greater than 0 for x is equal to 0. And hence, f of x is the minimum at x is equal to 0. This is the condition for the minimum, that is, the second derivative test at that point x is equal to 0. It's a positive. f of, and it's a, what's the minimum value? Now, f of 0, what's the function we have given that? The function we have given, this is the f of x. If we substitute x is equal to 0, here is 0 and 0 minus 1 upon 1. Then what is the minimum value? The minimum value is a, this is the minus 1. And hence option C is a correct one. It is here. Option C is a correct one. I will see that again here. Now I, I will repeat it again here. If f of x is equal to x square minus 1 upon x square plus 1, for every real x, then the minimum value of f is First option is 1, b is 0, c is minus 1, and d is 0. Now the given function f of x is equal to x square minus 1 upon x square plus 1. f dash of x is equal to x square plus 1 using by the quotient tool. That is v into d dx of u. This is the, this must be the minus 1, that is x square minus 1 minus x square minus 1 into ddx of x square plus 1 upon x square plus 1 bracket square. Therefore, x square plus 1 into derivative of x square minus 1 is a 2x minus in bracket x square minus 1 into derivative of x square plus 1 upon x square plus 1 bracket uh, raised to 2. Now, we will simplify here. That is a 2x in bracket. I will change here. It is only 2. 1 and 1 that is a 2 and overall it is a 4x upon x square plus 1 in bracket square. Therefore, f dash of x is equals to 4x upon x square plus 1 bracket square. Now, we will find out the value of x that is first derivative equals to 0 and then this is the second derivative. You can observe this derivative. I had already explained this. This is the f double dash of x. And if we substitute x is equal to 0, if we substitute x is equal to 0, and here is 0, that is equal to 4, and which is a positive. And this is the condition for the minimum.
Now here are all the multiple choice examples I am explaining in full uh, flesh. And whenever there is a papers of the CET and J, then I will give you the shortcuts how to find out the correct answer. F of x is a minimum at x is equal to 0. And what is its a minimum value? Then what is our function? The our function is f of x is equal to x square minus 1 upon x square plus 1. If we substitute x is equal to 0, then you will get minus 1. And hence option c is the correct one. Now the next is. Now here is the answer. That is the question number 3. A ladder 5 cm in length is uh, resting against the vertical wall. The bottom of the ladder is pulled along the ground away from the wall at the rate of 15 meter per second. The length of the higher point of the ladder when the foot of the ladder is a 4 meter away from the wall decreases at the rate of first is 1 is a b is 2 c is 2.5 and d is a 3. Now here we have given that the length of the ladder and bc ab and also it is a pool that is the dx upon dt that is equals to 1.5 meter per second now using the pythagoras that is the x square plus y square is equals to phi square differentiate this and we want to find out at what rate it's down it's a top of the ladder is coming down Therefore, dy by dt, if we differentiate this, derivative of x square is a, this is MPC type of the derivative. Derivative of x square is a 2x into dx upon dt plus 2y. Parametric derivative, that is a 2x into dx upon dt plus 2y into dy by dt, that is equal to 0. And therefore, dy by dt is equal to minus x upon y into dx upon dt. Now, here we will substitute the values. What is the dx upon dt that we have given? That is the 1.5, the value of x and value of the y also. And we perform their calculations and that is the minus 2. And therefore, the answer is, and hence, the option b is the correct one. Now, again, we will see here. A ladder of 5 meter in length is resting against vertical wall the bottom of the ladder is full along the wood away from the wall at 5 meter per second the length of the higher point of ladder when when the foot of the ladder is 4 meter away from the wall decreases 
at the rate of first is 1, b is 2, c is 2.5, d is 3. At what rate it decreases? This is triangle ABC. AC is the ladder. The value of X is 4 and Y is 3. We have DX upon DT that is given which is 1.5 meter per second. By using the Pythagoras, that is x square plus y square is equals to phi square. Now, differentiate this with respect to t. Parametric differentiation. That is, the derivative of x square is a 2x into dx upon dt plus 2y into dy upon dt. That is equals to 0. dy upon dt is equals to minus x upon y dx upon dt. Substitute the value of dx upon dt that is equals to 1.5. And hence dy by dt is minus 2. And hence option b is the correct one that is it decreases at the rate 2. Now the next is. Let f of x and the g of x be differentiable for x lies between 0 to 1 such that f of 0 is 1 and g of sorry f of 0 is 0 and g of 0 is also 0. f of 1 is 6 then there exists a real number c in between 0 to 1 such that f dash of c is equals to 2 times g dash of c. Then the value of g of 1 must be. Now f of x and g of x are differentiable for x lies between 0 to 1. Therefore, we must have that is a f dash of c and c lies between in 0 to 1. Therefore, f dash of c is equals to f of 1 minus f of 0 upon 1 minus 0. Therefore, the f dash of c is equals to what's the value of f of 1? f of 1 is a 6 and f of 0 is equals to 0 upon 1 minus 0. Therefore, the f dash of c is equals to 6 minus 0 upon 1. Therefore, f dash of c is equals to 6. The we have the value of f dash of c is equals to 6. But we know the relation between f dash of c and g dash of c. What is the value of f dash of c? f dash of c is equals to 6. And if we substitute here, that is a 2 times g dash of c is equals to f dash of c. Therefore, 2 g dash of c is equals to 6. Therefore, g dash of c is equals to 3. Therefore, g dash of c is equals to f g of 1 minus g of 0 upon 1 minus 0. And we will calculate here the value of g of 1. But again, we know the value of g of 0. What is the value of g of 0? That is a 0. And therefore, g dash of g as g of x is a differentiable of for 0 to 1. And therefore, g dash of c is equals to and c belongs to that interval 0 to 1. Therefore, g dash of c is equals to g of 1 minus g of 0 upon 1 minus 0. The value of g dash of c is equals to 3 and g of 1 minus 0 upon 1. Therefore, g of 1 is equals to 3 and hence option b is, a, b is correct one. Now, see this again here. Let f of x and 
g of x differentiable for 0 to 1 for x lies between 0 to 1 such a that f of 0 is 0 g of 0 is 0 f of 1 is 6 then there exists a real number c 0 to equals to 2 times j dash of c then the value of then the value of g of 1 must be first is 1, d is 3, c is 2.5 and d is minus 1. Now we will solve this problem by using the language mean value theorem. That if a real valued function f of x is a continuous and on closed interval and differential on open interval that is a, b, then there exists a c in between that is a to b here 0 to 1 such that f dash of c is equals to f of b minus f of a upon b minus a this was the language mean value theorem in the same manner we will solve here that is here f dash of c is equals to f of 1 minus f of 0 upon 1 minus 0 That f dash of c is equals to 6 minus 0 upon 1. f dash of c is equals to 6. Again, we know the relation between f dash of c and g dash of c. 2 times g dash of c is equals to f dash of c. Therefore, g dash of c is equals to 3. And again, the F, this is definition for again for the g dash of c. That is equals to g of 1 minus g of 0 upon 1 minus 0. And therefore, 3 is equals to g of 1 minus 0 upon 1. Therefore, g of 1 is equals to 3. And therefore, the option B is a correct one. Now, then, now the question number 5. Let f of x is equals to x cube minus 6x square plus 9x plus 18. Then f of x is a strictly decreasing in the given in that is option first a, b, c, d. Now given function is a strictly decreasing therefore first of all we will find out it is a first derivative. f of x is equals to x cube minus 6x square plus 9x plus 18 f dash of x is equals to 3x square minus 12x plus 9. As it is a strictly decreasing, f dash of x is a less than 0. Therefore, 3x square minus 12x plus 9 is a less than 0. If we simplify it, then you will get x square minus 4x plus 3 is a less than 0. Factorize it. In first bracket, you will get x minus 3. And in second bracket, you will get x minus 1 less than 0 x minus 3 is a less than 0 as the product of these two is a negative. The first is negative and the second is a positive. x is a less than 3 and x is a greater than 1. It means that the value of x lies between 1 to 3 and x comes to that is x lies between 1 to 3. Also if we consider that the x minus 3 is a positive and x minus 1 is a negative. Then here we get x is a greater than 3 and x is a less than 1. This is not possible and hence option D is a correct one. Now here we will take the question number 6. If x is equals to minus 1 and x is equals to 2 are the extreme points of y is equals to alpha log x plus beta x square plus x. Then what are the values of alpha and beta? Now these are the that is the extreme values. Therefore y is equals to alpha log x plus beta x square 
plus x. Then we will find out it is a first derivative. That is the dy by dx is equals to derivative of log of x is 1 upon x. That is alpha into 1 upon x plus 2 beta x plus 1. Now put x is equals to minus 1. Then you will get that is a 0 is equals to. Whenever there is a extreme values, we always substitute that is a dy by dx or first derivative equals to 0. That is a alpha upon minus 1 plus 2 beta minus 1 plus 1. Put x is equals to and if we simplify this, then you will get alpha plus 2 beta is equals to 1. Now again here put x is equals to 2, then 0 is equals to alpha upon 2 plus 4 beta plus 1. Now simplify this, 0 is equals to alpha plus 4 beta plus 2. Alpha plus 4 beta is equals to minus 2. And if you simplify these two equations, then you will get the values of that is alpha plus 4 beta is equals to minus 2. And second one that is alpha plus 2 beta is equals to 1. This is first one, second one. And if you subtract it, then you will get the value of the beta that is equals to minus 1 upon 2. If we substitute the value of the beta minus 1 upon 2, then alpha plus 2 beta is equals to 1. Alpha plus 2 into in bracket minus 1 upon 2 is equals to 1. Therefore, alpha minus 1 is equals to 1 and therefore alpha is equals to 2. And hence, alpha is equals to 2 and beta is equals to minus 1 upon 2. Now, see this again here. If x is equals to 1 and x is equals to 2, are the extreme points of y is equals to alpha log x plus beta x square plus x. That is at this point, its a first derivative is equals to 0. Then the values of, what will the values of the alpha and beta? These are the options A, B, C, D. Now we will find out the values of the alpha and beta. y is equals to alpha log x plus beta x square plus alpha x dy by dx is equals to derivative of log of x is a 1 upon x dx square that is a 2 beta x and derivative of x is 1. Now we have the extreme values for x is equals to minus 1 then dy by dx is equals to 0 for the extreme values. Subtract x is equals to minus 1, that is a 0 is equals to alpha upon minus 1 plus 2 beta in bracket minus 1 plus 1. Therefore, alpha plus 2 beta is equals to 1. This is the equation number 1. Put x is equals to 2. Therefore, 0 is equals to alpha upon 2 plus 4 beta plus 1. That is alpha plus 8 beta plus 2. And if we solve these two equations, the coefficient of alpha is 1. Therefore, we take here the subtraction. Alpha plus 8 beta is equals to minus 2. Alpha plus 2 beta is equals to 1. Subtraction, then you will get 6 beta is equals to minus 3 beta is equals to minus 1 upon 2. Put beta is equals to minus 1 upon 2. Then alpha plus 2 beta is equals to 1. 
alpha plus 2 into minus 1 upon 2 is equals to 1. Alpha minus 1 is equals to 1, therefore alpha is equals to 2. And therefore the values of alpha is equals to 1, beta is equals to minus 1. Minus 1 upon 2. Therefore option uh, C is correct one. Now, next is question number 7. The normal to the curve x square plus 2xy minus 3y square is equals to 0 at 1, 1. Meet the curve again in the second quadrant. Does not meet the curve again. Meet the curve again in third quadrant. Meet the curve again in fourth quadrant. Now, first of all, we will differentiate the given equation. x square plus 2xy minus 3y square is equal to 0. Now, differentiate this with respect to x. The derivative of x square is a 2x plus 2 in bracket xy. Apply here the product rule. Derivative of x is 1 into y plus x into derivative of y which is dy by dx minus 3y square. The derivative of y square is 2y into dy by dx. That is equals to 0. Now collect the terms of dy by dx. Now here is a 2, 2 and here is also 2. We can cancel the 2 throughout the equation divided by 2. Therefore, we will get that is x plus y plus x into dy by dx. And again here we have minus 3y into dy by dx is equals to 0. Then collect the terms of the dy by dx, that is the dy by dx in bracket x minus 3y is equals to minus in bracket x plus y. Therefore, dy by dx is equals to minus in bracket x plus y upon x minus 3y. Therefore, dy by dx at the point 1, 1. Substitute x is equals to 1 and y is equals to 1. Then you will get the slope of the tangent is 1. Then what is the slope of the normal? That is a reciprocal and so minus sign. The reciprocal of 1 is 1 and it's a minus, that is a minus 1. Now the equation of the normal, as we have given the point is, the equation of the normal is, that is y minus y1 is equals to minus 1 in bracket x minus x1. And that's why we get the equation is x plus y is equals to 2. Now here y is equals to 2 minus x. Put in equation of the curve. That is x square plus 2xy minus 3y square is equals to 0. Therefore x square plus 2x in bracket a2 minus x minus 3 in bracket 2 minus x bracket square is equals to 0. Therefore, x square plus 4x minus 2x square minus 3 in bracket 4 minus 4x plus x square equals to 0. Therefore, x square plus 4x minus 2x square minus 12 plus 12x minus 3x square is equals to 0. And if you simplify this, you will get that is the minus 4x square plus 16x minus 12 is equals to 0. Again divided by 4, then you will get x square minus 4x plus 3 is equals to 0. And factorize this, that is you will get the factor x minus 3 into x minus 1, that's equals to 0. Then what will be the value of the y, the given curve, that is, a, these are the values of the x. When x is equals to 3, then you will get the value of the y is a 3 and 1. Therefore, the the points are 3 and 3, if it's uh, possible. Again, the fourth, that is the first quadrant is optional here. No. Then which is that? That is a 3 and minus 1. And hence, the required point is in the fourth quadrant. And hence, the option D is a correct one. That is a normal will meet the curve again in the fourth quadrant. The normal to the curve x square plus 2xy minus 3y square is equals to 0. 
at 1 1 meets occur in the second quarter does not meet the curve okay meets the curve again in third quadrant and D meets the curve again in fourth quadrant. Now we have the equation x square plus 2xy minus 3y square is equals to 0. Now differentiate this with respect to x. Therefore, derivative of 2, x square is a 2x and here we will apply the product rule that is a 2 in bracket 1 dot y plus x into dy by dx and the derivative of y square is a 2y into dy by dx is equal to 0. Now simplify here that is a uh, cancel to that is a divide the whole equation by 2. Therefore, x plus y plus x into dy by dx minus 3y into dy by dx. That is equals to 0. Therefore, dy by dx in bracket x minus 3y is equals to minus in bracket x plus y. Therefore, dy by dx is equals to minus in bracket x plus y upon x minus 3y. Now the given point is 1 1 that is minus in bracket 1 plus 1 upon 1 minus 3 into 1 that is a minus 2 upon 1 minus 3 that is equals to 1. This is the slope of the tangent. Now the slope of the tangent is a minus and reciprocal of the slope of the normal. Therefore, slope of normal is equals to minus 1 and the equation of the normal is 1 1 y minus 1 is equals to minus 1 in bracket x minus 1 therefore x plus y is equals to 2 therefore y is equals to 2 minus 1 now put this in equation of the given curve will go will get the point where the normal cut again in that curve that is intersect 
x square plus 2xy minus 3y square is equals to 0. Substitute the value of y if it intersect. Then for x square plus 4x minus 2x square minus 3, the expansion of this 4 minus 4x square plus x square is equals to 0. x square plus 4x minus 2x square minus 12 plus 12x minus 3x square is equals to 0. Simplify this thing. That is the minus 4x square plus 16x minus 12 is equals to 0. If we divide by the 4, then you will get x square minus 4x plus 3 equals to 0. Then you will get that is a bracket x minus 3, second bracket x minus 1, that is equals to 0. Therefore, x is equals to 3 or x is equals to 1. For x is equals to one, then what is the value of the one? Put x is equals to one, one plus two y minus three y square is equals to zero. Therefore, three y square minus two y minus one is equals to zero. If you substitute x is equals to 3, then you will get 9 plus 6y minus 3y square is equals to 0. Factorize this. That is y square minus 2y minus 3 is equals to 0. Simplify. Then we will get the values of y is equals to 3 or y is equals to 1. Therefore, x is equals to 3 and y is equals to 3. And another is a 3 and minus 1. Now the Therefore, the required answer is a 3 minus 1 because 3, 3 is in first quadrant. First quadrant option is not there. Then which is that 3 minus 1 which is in the fourth quadrant? Yes. Option D is the correct one. Now, the next is. The equation of the tangent to the curve y is equals to 1 minus e raised to x by 2. At the point of intersection with the y axis is. Now, when the curve that it touches the y axis, the, then the x coordinate is 0. Therefore, we will substitute here x is equals to 0. Therefore, you will get y is equals to that is, we have the curve equation of the curve is y is equals to 1 minus e raised to the value of x is 0, that is 1 minus e raised to 0. And the raised to 0 is 1. 1 minus 1 that is equals to 0. Therefore, the, the required point is 0 and 0. And now we will differentiate this equation. That y is equals to 1 minus e raised to x by 2 dy by dx is equals to minus e raised to x by 2 into derivative of x by 2 that is equals to 1 upon 2. Therefore, dy by dx at 0, 0 is equals to the value of x is 0, that is minus 1 upon 2. Therefore, the equation of the tangent at 0, 0. Now, it is clear that we have the both the coordinates, the value of x and y both are 0, 0. Therefore, the given line is in this form, y is equals to mx.
therefore the value of the slope is minus 1 upon 2 y is equals to minus 1 upon 2x and hence the equation required equation is x plus 2y is equals to 0 and hence the optional a is a correct one this is the equation of the tangent to the curve where this curve intersect with the y axis now see this again here the equation of the tangent to the curve y is equals to 1 minus e raised to x by 2 at the point of intersection of intersection with y axis is x plus 2y is equals to 0 b 2x plus y is equals to 0 c x minus y is equals to 0 x plus y is equals to 2 when the given curve that is a intersect with the y axis at y axis x is equals to 0 now we'll substitute in that equation y is equals to 1 minus e raised to x by 2 the value of x is 0 1 minus e raised to 0 and the value of e raised to 0 is 1 1 minus 1 that is equals to 0 therefore x is equals to 0 and y is equals to 0 y is equals to 1 minus e raised to x by 2 therefore dy by dx is equals to minus e raised to x by 2 into derivative of x by 2 is 1 upon 2 dy by dx is equals to minus e raised to x by 2 upon 2. Therefore, dy by dx at the 0, 0 is equals to minus 1 upon 2. Now, the equation of equation of the tangent is y is equals to mx because the point is 0 0 the given line passes through the origin and it is of the form y is equals to mx that is x plus 2y is equals to 0 and hence option a is a correct one the next if the tangent at uh, sorry, I will repeat again this problem. If the tangent at the point 1 1 on y square is equals to x in bracket 2 minus x bracket square meet at the meet at the p, then the point p is first is 4 4 minus 1 2 3 6 9 by 4 3 by 8. Now the given curve is y square is equals to x in bracket 2 minus x bracket square. Differentiate this with respect to x. That is the derivative of y square is a 2y into dy by dx. That is equals to here we will apply the product rule. Derivative of x is 1 into 2 minus x bracket square plus x into the derivative of 2 minus x bracket square. That is a 2 in bracket 2 minus x and the derivative of 2 minus x is a minus 1. Now here we will simplify. That is a 1 into 2 minus x bracket square and this is a minus 2x in bracket 2 minus x upon 2y. 
at the point 1 1 that is a x is 1 and y is 1 that is equals to minus 1 upon 2 and the slope of the tangent is minus 1 upon 2 equation of the tangent is y minus y1 is equals to m in bracket x minus x1 therefore y minus y1 is equals to f minus x1 we substitute the value y minus 1 is equals to minus 1 upon 2 in bracket x minus 1 simplify this this is the 2y minus 2 minus x plus 1 therefore x plus 2y is equals to 3 and that's why again we'll substitute here that is a x is equals to 3 minus 2y in the equation of the curve this type of the problem we have seen earlier that is it for the question number multiple choice question number 7 in a same manner we will substitute here the value of x that y square is equals to x in bracket 2 minus x bracket square the value of x is 3 minus 2y in bracket 2 minus in bracket 3 minus 2y bracket square and y square is equals to 3 minus 2y into 2y minus 1 bracket square and again we will simplify that the y square is equal to 3 minus 2y and expansion of this 4y square minus 4y plus 1. That is the y square is equal to 12y square minus 12y plus 3 minus 8y cube plus 8y minus 2y. And again if we simplify this 8y cube minus 19y square plus 14y minus 3 is equal to 0. Now here to find out the factors of this uh, polynomial we here apply the synthetic uh, division method and also it's a clear that when the sum of all the coefficient is a uh, zero then y minus one is a factor of the given polynomial this is the trick to remember when we want to find out it's a factor but again we will check here by using the synthetic division this is 8 minus 19 plus 14 minus 3. All are in the decreasing order. This type of the division you have learned in the 9th standard. This is 3, 2, 1 and the constant. 8 minus 19, 14 minus 3. Keep this 8 as it is. 1 into 8 is 8. Minus 19 and plus 8 minus 11. Minus 11 plus 1 minus 11. 14 minus 11, 3. 1 into 3. 3, 3 minus 3 that is equals to 0. Therefore, the second factor is 8y square minus 11y plus 3 that is equals to 0. Now, again here we will factorize this 8y square minus 11y plus 3 equals to 0 and their factors are 8y square minus 8y minus 3y plus 3 is equals to 0. Now, here we will take 8y as a common then in bracket y minus 1 and minus 3 is common y minus 1. Therefore, in first bracket y minus 1, in second bracket 8 y minus 3 is equals to 0. And therefore, y is equals to 1 or y is equals to 3 by 8. And hence, if we substitute, that is a, we have already, the first point is 1, 1. And we substitute here directly y is equals to 3 by 8 instead of 1. That if we substitute x is equals to, that is y is equals to 3 by 8. 8 in the equation of that tangent that is x is equals to 3 minus 2y that is a 3 minus 2 into 3 by 8 then 3 minus 6 by 8 and if you simplify it you will get 9 by 4 and hence the point 9 by 4 and 3 by 8 where the tangent touches again the given curve and hence option d is a correct one we will see here If the tangent at 1 1 on y square is equals to x in bracket 2 minus x bracket square meets at P
then then p is four four minus one two three six nine by four three by eight Now your y square is equals to x in bracket 2 minus x bracket square. Differentiate this with respect to x. Therefore dy by dx is equals to 2 minus x bracket square. That is a 2 minus x bracket square minus 2x in bracket 2 minus x upon 2y at the point 1, 1. The value of slope that is m is equals to minus 1 upon 2. Equation of the tangent that is y minus y1 is equals to m in bracket x minus x1. That y minus 1 is equals to minus 1 upon 2 in bracket x minus 1. I am giving the all the steps because this type of the questions will also ask in other questions. That's why I am explaining. Otherwise, I will also give you the trick how to solve these examples within a 45 second. Therefore, x is equals to 3 minus 2y. Substitute the value. That is y square is equals to in bracket 3 minus 2y in another bracket 2 minus 3 minus 2y bracket square. That is y square is equals to 3 minus 2y, 2y minus 1 bracket square. Expand this. y square is equals to, if you simplify this, then you will get 12y square minus 12y plus 3 minus 8y cube plus 8y square minus 2y. That is 8y cube minus 19y square plus 14y minus 3 is equals to 0. Again, by using the synthetic division, we can factorize it. Again, there is one more trick that the sum of the, all the coefficient is 0. Then y minus 1 is the factor of this given polynomial. But how to get the factors by using the synthetic division that I have done there. That is 8y square minus 11y plus 3 is equals to 0. Now again the factor is this. I had explained earlier this. 8y is common in bracket y minus 1. Minus 3 in bracket y minus 1 that is equals to 0. Therefore in first bracket y minus 1, in second bracket 8y minus 3 that is equals to 0. Therefore y is equals to 1 or y is equals to 3 by 8. And 1 is given already, we have the point, therefore we will treat at y is equals to 3 by 8. As y is equals to 3 by 8 and hence it is clear that the option D will be the correct one. D is the correct one. If we substitute, then you will get that is x is equals to 9 by 4. Nine by four and three by eight. Option D is the correct one. Now the next is the approximate value of a tan of forty-five degree and thirty minutes. Given that one degree is equals to zero point zero one seven five. 
Now tan of 45 is 1, therefore its value is very close to 1. And hence that is the option B, C, D has the chances to be done. Let f of x is equals to tan of x, f dash of x is equals to x square x. The formula for the approximation is f of a plus h is approximately equal to f of a plus h into f dash of a. a is equals to 45, 30 minutes here is 1 upon 2 degree. That is 0 0.0175 upon 2. That is equals to 0 0.00875. And this is the value of h. That is 0 0.00875. F of a is equals to f of 45 tan of 45 and that is equals to f dash of a that is f dash of 45 that is x square 45 root 2 bracket square and that is equals to 2. f of a plus h is approximately equal to f of a plus h into f dash of a and that is equals to 1 minus the value of the h and f dash of a that is a 2. That is a 1 minus if you multiplication of these two that is a 1 minus 0 0.01750 and it's a subtraction that is a 0 0.9825 and hence option D is a correct one. Then the approximate value of tan of 45 degree and 30 minutes given that The option A is a 0 0.8952, B is a 0 0.9528 and D is 0 0.92, uh, that is a C, 0 0.9285 and D is 0 0.9825. This is a simple question. We have the function that is a f of x is equals to tan of x, f dash of x is equals to x square x. f of a plus h is approximately equal to f of a plus h into f dash of a. f of a plus h is approximately equal to f of a plus h into f dash of a. a is equals to 45 and 30 degree that is equals to 1 upon 2. 30 minutes is equals to 1 upon 2 degree that is equals to 0 0.0175 upon 2 that is equals to 0 0.00875. This is the value of the H. Now F of A that is 45, that is tan of 45 is equals to 1, f dash of a is equals to tan of 45, that, that is it is a derivative, sec square 45, the value of sec of 45 is root 2, it is a square, that is a 2. Now we have the formula, f of a plus h is approximately equal to f of a plus, that is a minus here sign. We subtract here that is 0 0.00875 into 2 that is approximately equal to 1 minus 0 0.01750 which is equal to 0 0.9825 and hence option D is the correct one and in this way we have completed all the multiple choice questions at the question number 1. Now we will see in the next video all the remaining questions. Till then, goodbye.